43. Good afternoon all. Good afternoon. Thank you for your time. Uh, on behalf of the Fenwick and Waimari here at Community Board, um, I'm pleased to be able to uh, give you a quick summary of our submission. Uh, just, I'll take, the, take it as read, I'll just highlight uh, two, three points. Um, obviously one that's been a theme today is traffic outside schools, mm. uh, um, obviously an important factor. Obviously our ward is significantly impacted with the Johns Road, Rusty Road uh, uh, alterations up there and how that impacts uh, traffic in and around our ward. Uh, and that brings me to the second point which is Harewood Road, Breens Road. Um, obviously in desperate need of a signalised intersection. Also just quickly to touch on uh, condition of our waterways, obviously our uh, ward is uh, the start of the Avon River uh, and uh, uh, collection point for uh, a lot of the, the runoff um, and a number of our uh, deputations to date have been uh, highlighting the lack of flow, the increased um, degradation of the water uh, and we would like to see uh, the council put some money uh, and working closely with ECAN and our own resources to have that issue addressed. Happy to answer questions. Questions? Fantastic. Thank you very much. No, I'm not oh, I'm glad that we could catch up on easy. time. Very good. Thank I'm you not, very much. No, no, no. I'm not letting you off the floor. <laughs> Um, the regeneration of Bishopdale Mall, um, you're working in with Development Christchurch and the urban regeneration team on issues and opportunities for the regeneration of the mall. That is correct. Yeah, um, is, that, is that something that you were likely to see um, factored into the our LTP thinking for next year? Uh, yes, yeah. uh, and also there's, um, as you'll all be aware, uh, the new library which is uh, I believe still on schedule um, yeah, for an opening so. date mm -hmm. I'm going to say start of August yeah. Yeah. end of August uh, and the community board is looking to have our um, what, a, a, a community board meeting actually in that space um, so providing that's all on track uh, we'll be up there and, and that will go a long way to increasing um, in improving that area of the, of the moor up there. See what I started? Uh, Andrew, then Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. Um, the um, last point in your submission, condition of local waterways. Yes. Um, and you are asking there for funding and support for maintenance and management yep. of streams and rivers. Have you had any conversation or interaction with the Christchurch West Melton Water Management Zone Committee? And has there been any discussion about access to immediate steps funding for any of those projects? Uh, yes, we have a uh, community board member who is part of that um, committee. Uh, I believe that their last meeting was four, maybe six weeks ago, uh, and we are actively um, working with them and trying to increase uh, or highlight a lot of those issues and put some thinking about how to improve it. Thank you. Yeah, Just one thing that's not covered. Um, the artist in residence proposal for oh, yes. the Mona Vale house down your end of Mona Vale. Yes. Uh, what's, now, what's currently happening with that? Uh, so there's uh, a school of thought where we and following the uh, public interest that we would like to try and have a artist in residence, a significant cost to the city, which we're not happy to bring to you and, and ask the ratepayers to pay. A significant um, cost being? Being a, a, a current, uh, one of the current ideas around an artist in resident is that it would be a paid for um, and, or incur a cost to the city council that we would um, based on a number of the, the researches on the artist in residence programs that happen nation, uh, national, uh, nationally, uh, nationwide, internationally. Um, and, and internationally, that uh, the artist, whilst may live, uh, uh, leave behind some art, art um, would be living in the house for free. And, and we don't, we're not comfortable with coming to, you, to the council with that idea. So we're looking at a, th uh, at a um, an alternative where we might partner with some other organisations, uh, namely the university that has uh, some uh, residence programmes or maybe with ARA, uh, so it is work in progress. So you know there are a number of groups of artists and residents who want to pay rent for that site? 
Well, I can let the staff that have been dealing with that uh, research know. Um, maybe okay. they could contact, contact so you for details. So can you just details. tell me what will happen in terms of the process now? Uh, so the process, um, about first. four <laughs> weeks, maybe five weeks yeah. ago, we had a briefing from staff um, regarding the costs that would be incurred. We've asked them to go back um, to do some more number crunching and find an alternative. We weren't happy. Uh, and so that's uh, in the to-do pile um, to come back to us at a time to be decided. For the earthquake repair and renovation to habitable standard, that's going ahead. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So, yep. and that's to, not to go to a commercial setting yeah. would be a significant cost. No, no, no. Oh. I, know, I understand yep. that. So, but we're, so it's all all on board. So, when when is it? When will it be uh, finished? When oh. will it be open? Uh, I'd have to double check, but I do believe end of November, start of November was the time frame that I've been given. Right, so that's the time frame that we want to be working to in yes. terms of a decision making. Correct. But um, your community board is working on a proposal that will come back to council that won't be a cost to council. Correct. In, in the way that um, it was it first described. It fills the desires and the yep. intent of having a, an artist or similar. It, it um, may well be yep. that, that, as Vicky said, people would be prepared to pay yep. rent and that, and, We're desperate um, for it. Yep. and there may be others who would like to subsidise the amount of the rent that it would be worth. So, I mean, there's all sorts of options. Right, well, I'll follow up with Vicky on that So, later. would yep. those people just get in touch with your community? Happy board? for them to myself or f with Matt. Or who? Uh, Matt. Governance, my governance advisor. Excellent. Thanks. See, see, we didn't let you off the hook at all. <laughs> it was a good yeah. question, good answer. It was. Thank Excellent. You. Result. Have a good afternoon all. Thank yeah, you. thank you very much. All right, well I think um, we're now exactly on time for afternoon tea. Right. Wow. So if um, people would like to take a 15 minute break and we'll start again on the dot of 3 o'clock with Victoria Andrews. Is she a phone in? She's coming. All right. <laughs>